Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on Tuesday webinar series day. Today is um, our webinar series about Crea Tech Tools. So we have Lynn Germain, uh, Saint Germain um, from <laughs> Crea, who is going to show us and teach us all the wonderful ways of our Crea Tech Tools so you can use all of them more effectively. So Lynn, the floor is yours. All right, let me just share my screen here. All right, thumbs up, you guys can see it. Perfect. All right, so uh, thank you, Alex, for I guess we've uh, maybe some of you have uh, joined me last week for a session that we had on the DDF. So what uh, we're going to be covering today, of course, is let me just uh, saw the camera for now. All right. So thank you again for joining me uh, once again for um, talking about tech tools this time. So it's always fun for me to talk about uh, all the tools that Crea offers that's to help our members optimize their presence on Realtor.ca. And many realtors still think of uh, the site as just a consumer portal, but over the years, it's become so much more than that. It's kind of an ecosystem within the uh, real estate industry. So my goal is to get the members to think about Realtor.ca not only as a, a consumer portal, but also as a tool that uh, should be part of their marketing strategies. So we will talk about, of course, the other uh, um, uh, sorry services that are offered by Korea, mm -hmm. and also take a look at what's in store for the future. This, this is pretty still informal. So please don't hesitate to put any questions in the chat uh, as I am talking or there will be time as well at the end. So in order to understand how Realtor.ca is still the number one site for real estate in Canada, we have to look at numbers. So let's take a look here at uh, what kind of activity we've had in 2021. So we had over 110 million visitors in the past year, which was uh, pretty incredible because we thought 2020 had beaten uh, many of the records already, but uh, it turns out that uh, we still weren't done. And then we also had over 1.9 billion sessions. That, uh, so that means that people that are looking at property pages, well, there's definitely still a lot of searches that's happening on the website. 6.2 million leads came through the system last year. And some of these leads are, are coming through, most of them through Realtor.ca directly, but of course, from any of the DDF sites as well. And a very important number here is this one. So over 15.7 million visitors look at Realtor profile. So the Realtor profile, as far as I can see, is probably the most underutilized tool by members. So I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on that today and find uh, to show you some different ways on how to improve uh, your presence on Realtor.ca. And again, uh, we, we like to celebrate, of course, milestones and successes. And just before Christmas, uh, we had the um, uh, notice from the Canadian Internet Registration Authority that Realtor.ca is now the sixth most visited .ca site across Canada. So we actually were number five, but then Best Buy kind of took over uh, just before Christmas, but hopefully we can regain that ground. But as you can see here, we are still in very good company. And also a small company called Apple has actually recognized our popularity in the Canadian market. And they've asked us permission to use the realtor, the image of the realtor.ca app to promote their latest phone version. So data is extremely critical to everything that we do. And the stats that I just mentioned are part of this report called Realtor.ca Insight. This report is a powerful way to gain um, uh, insights and uh, ways to optimize your content on Realtor.ca. I encourage members to check it out. The full report is available at insights.realtor.ca. We produce it every first quarter of every year. Also kind of a subset of the insights report is the ability to do a uh, local, more local insights report. So as an example here that I have uh, for a, a particular locality, so you put in your city and then you'll be able to find out what are the most popular searches such as price range, keyword searches, the most sought after neighborhoods in your area. And this is just a sample here of the information that you will see. You'll get a lot more 
on demographics. So again, I encourage you to go and take a look at that at insights.realtor.ca. And now let's take a look at some of these tools and where to access them. So if you've never been to member.realtor.ca, I encourage you to go and take a look. You will have to sign in with your board credentials and then you'll get access to a lot, a lot of tools here. And, and I encourage you to get comfortable using this dashboard because it's going to become an integral part of all CREA products in the near future and it's getting a, a major facelift, facelift in the coming months. So it will, uh, the look will change and a lot of things will actually be um, much easier to access. For now, let's uh, get started with the most important tool of this dashboard and let's talk about your realtor profile. So consider this, only 10% of consumers begin their search with, uh, with a realtor. That's why it's so important for agents to ensure that their profile has all the information necessary to help consumers make an informed decision when it comes to choosing a realtor. So consumers don't uh, just go to realtor.c to look for properties anymore. They're also looking for a realtor. So when was the last time you actually uh, when to look at your profile or even look at realtor.ca. So the uh, your, remember that your profile might be the first point of contact with a real, from a realtor.ca visitor while they're browsing. So in the first part here, so you're actually not gonna see part one and part two, I just added this for clarification. So in the first section, make sure to click on view your profiles or remember, remember to keep your contact information up to date by contacting your board. So whatever information uh, that you have, if you ever change a phone number, if it's wrong on realtor.ca, it's also wrong at the board. So it's really important that you contact the board in order to make those changes. This usually updated within the next 24 hours. So in the second part, now you have the uh, ability to upload videos. This is kind of a new feature. It allows you and your colleagues to promote yourselves uh, with the, um, the video profile. So you have uh, up to two videos, you can add one about me. So it could be you talking about your services, your experience, et cetera. And the other one would be about us. So it could be about um, um, your brokerage or perhaps if you work as a team as well. So again, you do have access to upload up to two videos that would appear on your profile. At this point right now, uh, we can only allow for YouTube videos because they do follow accessibility guidelines. But again, uh, come and take a look here on your profile. And of course, if you already have these videos, upload them through YouTube. In the third part, so having an updated picture is also extremely important. We still have a large number of our members that do not have a picture. Uh, I'm thinking it's about 30%. So I also recommend that you update your photo about uh, maybe every four to five years. And depending on your board restrictions, you can upload or update your photo from this screen. Um, in some cases, your board may have uh, required you to actually link to your board MLS system to upload the picture. But uh, depending again on whatever the board decided, you may be able to just upload it right from here. And in the last part here, so what's also available that's for purchase is the rating and testimonial service of your choice that will appear on your realtor profile. So once you've purchased uh, either one of these products here, you send a link to your clients once the uh, transaction has been completed, then they can of course share a testimonial on your services. So again, this is available for purchase. Uh, in some cases, um, some of the offices are actually getting uh, the product at the office level but you can get it individually. So put yourself now in the consumer's shoes just for a minute. So I'm looking to hire a realtor. Of course, I'm going to realtor.ca. I'm um, coming upon here this profile information. Yes, on the, the actual listing, really not much about the realtor. And I'm not picking on this particular realtor because unfortunately when I did a search on uh, profiles, I found so many that look exactly like that. So the options that you want to, to be uh, closer to are these two great examples here. So you have, of course, your pictures here. You have kind of in the middle, uh, the one on the left, you can see the realtor profile. In the realtor profile, there's a description of services, uh, two of the videos. 
The one on the right would be our uh, mobile version. So you can see here quickly, uh, this one uh, uploaded an About Me video. So again, remember that 15 uh, million people looked at realtor profiles last year. So it's really important to take the time and make this space work for you. All right, so let's talk about a checklist here. When it comes to your profile, first of all, always ensure that uh, your preferred phone numbers and email address are up to date. And again, uh, well, everything I'm gonna mention today has to be done through your board. Link to uh, your professional and office website. Link uh, your social media profiles. Most of us uh, have at least one. Indicate your designations, your specialties, your years of experience, and talk about yourself. Don't be afraid to uh, give your talk about your strength. Indicate the languages in which you can do business and your preferred languages. And of course, last but not least, make sure to include the About Me and About Us videos. All right, so something else that the tool that's available to you from the member.realtor.ca dashboard is under the listing statistics tab you can create a stat report for each individual listing. So this is the realtor view of the report because it's meant to show the detailed activity of the property, including any traffic that is coming from the DDF uh, advertising website. As you can see at the bottom here, so this was, uh, the traffic came from Point Jones and KGG. It's actually just a part of the information that you can see. It goes into much more detail when you're actually live on the report. So once you actually uh, send the report to the consumer, what they would receive in their, in their email. Uh, it's uh, the example that's on the left here. So they have to click in order to view the listing stats. So even though the report looks very similar, they're not going to see all the additional information at the bottom. So that's completely up to you if you want to share all this uh, detailed information, but uh, basically they would get uh, their uh, traffic numbers in more the generic categories. And what else you can do here on your uh, dashboard is to track your Realtor.ca leads. So whether the leads are coming from Realtor.ca directly or any of the DDF partners, you will find all the details necessary to contact your potential clients, hoping to get more information or set up showing. So you may have uh, lost uh, somebody's email, but you can always come back here to, uh, again, the dashboard in order to find those leads. And a very important message here, and I want to reiterate here, this, is because 100% of all those leads that come to Realtor.ca will come to you as a member benefit. So all leads go directly to the listing agent. There are no referral fees and no other agents can buy their way onto your listing pages. All right, so we're not going to cover DDF today, obviously, because we've already done that in our session last week, but it is, of course, accessible from uh, the main menu of uh, member.realtor.ca. And also, I did talk about that last week, but I want to reiterate again uh, the great tool here that we have for uh, realtors, the listing stats app in order to help you manage any of these leads and statistics. Because if you receive a lead right from the app, you're able to quickly reply to the potential client. So again, some of these features that are um, available to you with this app is to uh, share office listings, access active and historical stats, and connect with clients. So you'll be able to actually, excuse me, you'll be able to, uh, actually prepare these reports, the stats report that I showed you a few slides back in order to send them on a weekly or monthly basis. Uh, and again, once you've downloaded this app, always make sure to keep updating it. It's like any other app. Uh, we're always uh, adding new features or fixing any bugs. All right, so in case you didn't know, uh, CREA and the National Association of Realtors, which is the NAR, uh, both own the trademark Realtor. So they also have acquired the rights for their members to purchase top level domains, dot realtor and dot real estate. So what does that mean is that it would replace the usual dot com or dot ca, which is more common uh, when purchasing 
purchasing web addresses. So you can't purchase either one or both. The uh, biggest difference between the two is that Dot Realtor is only available to members, uh, so of, of both association, boards and association and brokerages can also purchase the Dot Realtor top level domain. And it allows you also to be consistent in your messaging because you can use the same uh, for uh, your both your website and your email. So uh, as you can see in the example here, you're essentially promoting your name and your profession in the same, same web address. So the difference here, uh, of course, with dot real estate is that it is an unrestricted top level domain. It is available for everyone for purchase. And again, the, uh, the dot realtor is only available for realtors, brokerages, and uh, boards and association. All right, so now we have to take a look a little bit into the future. And of course, we talk about our successes with Realtor.ca and what we've accomplished so far. However, it's never our position at CREA to sit and wait because we know there are many external competitors just uh, waiting to try to grab the consumer's attention. So let's take a look at what we have in store for the near future and beyond. And you may have seen this announcement just a few weeks ago, Korea was proud to announce a pilot project that will display real-time tracking of offers on realtor.ca listings. And that's the first for Canada. So open offers, which is uh, essentially uh, originally from Australia, uh, has been selected to be integrated with realtor.ca. So open offers is, um, is a digital version of the current offer and acceptance method of real estate sales. And the platform enables transparency and equality for consumers while providing realtors with a highly efficient solution to manage simultaneous offers. So the open platform provides buyers with real-time feedback through their device on where their offer may stand on a property. So this product will be available uh, for purchase uh, by agents and our brokers when the pilot project phase is over. So the pilot is uh, scheduled to begin sometime this summer in Vancouver and will move across the country uh, to select markets. All right, so let's continue here on exploration of what's uh, up with the future uh, with Realtor.ca. We know that consumers will have to do research on various websites to get all the information they need in their real estate journey. So what if Realtor.ca had everything they need in the same website? Our goal is to be seen as not only a site to search for properties, but being the place to go for all research pertaining to consumers' real estate needs. So let's take a look at what we have in mind in order to reach that goal. So first we will begin to include more neighborhood level market analytics on every property page. So if you're familiar with, of course, the property feature sheet that's there right now, there is only four tabs. So that would, uh, we'll just add additional tabs that would show a lot more information from the feature sheet. At the neighborhood level, we will display more detailed market information as well as pertinent demographic uh, data as well. And the market analysis layer using um, the MLS HPI, so that's a home price index, it's another one of our products. And it would, of course, uh, highlight um, specific neighborhoods and give uh, the characteristics and a lot more demographics. And currently, in a lot of cases, when consumers do a search in a specific neighborhood, they get really weak results. So in this uh, sample search here, only one active listing is showing. So the market conditions, yes, are often to blame, but this, nonetheless, this is a bad consumer experience. All the realtor thinks is that there's nothing available on realtor.ca. So we need to be able to change that mindset and the, of course, the, uh, the results of any search. So the idea down the road is that we uh, would like to have all the properties on the site uh, and they could be in any one or five states. So they could be actively listed, conditionally sold, recently sold, sold, or never transacted, meaning they've never been through the system. 
So for example, we want a consumer to get a hit if they do a Google search, if they enter an address, regardless of whether it is actively listed or not. And we were refer referring to this whole project as persistent property pages, meaning that we always want the uh, consumer to get results out of their search. And currently we are building a database of 15 million residential property addresses across Canada. This will give us the opportunity to present data on properties that are actively listed, as well as information about properties that are not. And this is, of course, just an example again of uh, the active listing. Uh, some of the feature is already available. Uh, so the, the, um, the, the amount of time they've been on the, on the site, as you can see, that's already here. But right off from, from selecting a property, you'd be able to check out neighborhood characteristic and demographics right from the main, main, main page, pardon me. And again, our, one of our first steps will be to add the layers or flags to listings. So conditionally sold is an example. And we would add uh, these tags here. And this status is derived from the data we received from the board upload uh, because these uh, properties are still considered active. Uh, so we want to make sure again that uh, the consumer has a much better experience when they're doing their searches. And then recently sold and sold status. So the next step would be to, uh, to show where permitted uh, recently sold. So recently would equate to the previous 90 days. And so, uh, so the data display would indicate the amount and date of the most recent transaction involving uh, this particular property. And uh, similar active listings now provide more options for the consumer. So you've seen this already. It's, uh, if you've been to a feature sheet lately, we already have the similar listing. What we would add at the bottom, of course, is the recently sold. So the image would use a Google Street View as the listing photos are no longer pertinent after the listing contact uh, contract has been completed. So there's also limited information available, also the, no realtor information once the property has been sold. So again, a lot more information that's available immediately when they open up the uh, feature sheet. And the, the use of Google Street would offer consumer, again, very standard information about the property if it's not been transacted, meaning if it's never been through the MLS system, we will still display a page so that the address is always found during a search for our property. And this is a kind of a new, this is a kind of a first uh, public facing automated valuation model. So the AVM with the realtor.ca adjusted price, which would display for any property that has transacted and for which that uh, transaction data exists in the MLS system, providing that, provided that the data is of course sent to us by the boards. So the way in which we can move forward is to partner of course with uh, boards and association to be able to provide this level of data to consumers. A lot of data CREA doesn't have, so it's really important that uh, uh, we continue collaborating with all our boards and association. And we are expecting uh, this project to hopefully be uh, the end by end of 2023. And uh, we uh, believe that it will greatly benefit consumers. Is there any question at this time or comments that you would like to add? Oh, I see something here, let me check. Okay, good question here. So back to profile, how do you edit? So you'll have to go uh, to uh, contact the board. So you can actually edit the profile itself in, um, in the, the member profile. You have to contact the board and they will give you specific fields as to where each information is gonna go through. Okay, so this is how uh, you'll be able to do that because the board sends us that information which uh, will update the profile. So you do have to contact the board in order to make these updates. Except for the photo, like I said, the photo can actually be added in some cases, but uh, I'm not sure if your board is actually requesting you to go through your MLS system. All right, so let's uh, take a look here at some additional services that we have available for realtors. 
So did you know that about 8% of the visitors to Realtor.ca are from outside of Canada? So that's why it's important for any realtor that wants to explore the world of international transactions to use the tools offered by CREA uh, to start networking. So we're going to be talking now about the Global Affiliates Program. So first, what you need to do is join uh, the Global Affiliates Program. You're going to go to realtorlink.c slash global. And it is completely free for CREA members. Once you uh, have opted in, you will have access to many resources, free training webinars, statistics, snapshots of specific regions. And um, moving on here, you're also going to have access to, uh, there's a um, Facebook group that is closed only to members of the global Facebook page and then the global directory as well so the global directory allows you to also search for uh, international realtors as well and these are two great tools to start networking uh, with um, international realtors you can also become a certified international property specialist so the SIPs uh, this designation provides you with the knowledge and training to grow your network globally all training sessions have been moved online, so please check crea.ca uh, slash CIPS for more information on course schedule. We run uh, courses um, pretty much on a weekly basis, so uh, check out the schedule if you're interested. So the designation requires five courses. There is a uh, minimum fee that applies to these courses, but a lot of information is available. Too. There's also some free webinars as well that uh, uh, you can take a look at and, and subscribe. All right, another tool that's available to you is the CREA Learning Hub. So it provides agents and brokers with up-to-date training on important subject matter within the industry. All courses are free of charge. Um, as you can see here, the ones that are available to you, if you're kind of new to the industry, I would definitely encourage the new member orientation. That's a great course. Um, and then of course, FinTrack, we've done a lot of changes to FinTrack. It's always up-to-date trademarks and the Realtor Code of Ethics. So, all these courses here are free and uh, you can stop and go anytime you like and continue. And of course, uh, just uh, join anytime that uh, you have a few minutes to start the course. And also available from the hub, um, you can get access to other courses and training available to you, uh, such as web forms. Uh, and most of these courses would be offered by you surely, but uh, definitely if uh, you wanted to learn a little bit more about uh, any one of these subjects, especially web forms, I encourage you to join me in one of my weekly sessions. And I would also like to bring your attention to CREA.ca where you can get up-to-date information on our government relations initiative and also housing uh, stats market. This is our more public facing site and um, also what you can find through CREA.ca, um, you can subscribe to our award-winning real-time podcast and magazine that's uh, dedicated to everything real estate uh, and then the impacts to both realtors and Canadian consumers. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And last but not least here, if you've never been to the living room, if you're struggling to find content to share on your own social media pages, stop scrolling through Instagram and Facebook. All you need is our consumer blog, The Living Room, where we publish regular articles on everything real estate. So it is available both from realtor.ca and crea.ca. So you'll have access to all these articles. And members are encouraged to share these articles with consumers. You can add them on your own social media outlets or personal website. Uh, nobody has time, of course, to create content. So make sure to come back on a regular basis and check out all the new articles that we publish. And of course, it's absolutely free for members to use. All right, so three things I would like you to take away of with this presentation today. First of all, make sure to visit member.realtor.ca. As I said, it's going to become an even uh, more integral part of all CREA products. Check out your profile. If you get nothing else out of this presentation today, this is probably the most important. Make sure to 
see what the public sees when they find your profile. Remember that number? Over 15 million people checked out uh, realtor profiles last year. And of course, I encourage everyone to uh, download their listing stats app. And then, of course, you have all these tools to go. And here are some of the uh, important uh, web addresses that I mentioned along the way. So this is being recorded, so you'll be able to actually have access to them. And of course, you can always reach us here at support.crea.ca or our toll-free number. So are there any questions, comments at this point? Now is a good time. It doesn't look like it, it Lynn. No, okay. So this is being recorded, right, Alex? Yep. Yes, yep. so that's good. So if you have any questions, of course, you can always reach me or call our Member Experience Center at any time. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much again, Lynn. Um, power pack presentation full of wonderful information. And yes, get your realtor profiles set up. The importance is, can't emphasize it enough. Thank you so much for your time today. Goodbye, everyone. See you.